Let's start off with some breaking news now. Governor N. N. Vora has chaired an emergency meeting at the Raj Bhavan to discuss the situation in Kashmir following heavy rainfall. Remember, the Jhelum River and its tributaries are flowing above the danger mark, and over the last two days, Jammu and Kashmir has been witnessing heavy rainfall. All schools have been shut in Kashmir as a precautionary measure. People living around the area have been issued an alert. Relief and rescue teams are on standby. However, there is no account of the hundreds of crores earmarked and spent by the government, supposedly on measures to stop such situations from reoccurring. And my colleague Meer Farid now joining me. Farid, this is uh, this is a, a situation that is not new. It is not uncommon to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. But more importantly, this is definitely a situation that can be taken care of. But it appears to be that the funds that are meant for rehabilitation, the funds that are meant for relief, actually seem to be diverted. Yes, that's right. Uh, now, uh, you, you're right. In 2014, uh, we saw that those uh, devastating floods, but it seems no lessons have been learned since. And the shocking part is that uh, the PDP BJP dispensation, which was there uh, till not a uh, very long time, in fact, just uh, uh, 10 15 days back, uh, the BJP pulled out and that uh, government fell. But uh, they are the people who have to be questioned as to what exactly did they do with the whooping uh, central funding. More than 10,000 crores were sanctioned, sent for uh, re not only relief, rehabilitation, but also for. Uh, uh, ensuring that steps are taken on the ground uh, to uh, ensure that, if at all, there is a situation like what we've seen right now, this can be at least avoided to the extent that uh, they are prepared on the ground. Uh, they, uh, uh, in fact, uh, uh, like dredging. Dredging was one issue that was taken up last time as well. Uh, the government said that they will do whatever possible to uh, clear up the sand, ensure that uh, the water-carrying capacity of Jhelum, its tributaries, uh, it's uh, increased, but nothing has happened on the ground. Now, where has all this money gone? Where has it been uh, diverted or uh, how much of it has been swindled? So these are questions that need to be asked right now. Uh, the governor uh, obviously uh, uh, is worried. He's uh, taking a stock, uh, taking a meeting, and uh, uh, he'll obviously uh, give out instructions as to what needs to be done. But as far as departments are concerned, like the Irrigation and Flood Control Department, which should have been prepared. Other than sending out advisories, giving out letters, uh, they are absolutely nowhere on the ground. Uh, they have not, not done anything uh, to be prepared about it, and that really is a big question right now. It is the people who are uh, facing a very tough time. They do not know what will happen if uh, rains continue for, say, another four, five, six hours. We will have a situation where these, these big embankments can be breached because already most of the river uh, beds, uh, in fact, rivers uh, beat Jhelum at various points. It's going uh, way above the danger marks, a lot of pressure on the embankments. And if there is a breach, uh, God forbid, this, this water can easily enter Srinagar and you'll have a repeat of 2014. So this is a very grim situation right now. And uh, what needs to be done is that these people living in low-lying areas have to immediately be evacuated. Steps need to be taken. But as I said, the government, uh, the authorities once again have been caught pants down. They do not know what, what exactly is happening, how they're going to react to the situation. And we uh, may see a repeat of what happened in 2014. Now, the only thing that can save people in Kashmir is uh, are the weather gods. If rain relents, that would be the only answer. Otherwise, uh, what has happened in the last three years... Uh, totally exposes the PDP BJP dispensation. There was done absolutely nothing uh, in spite of huge central funding to the tune of thousands of crores. Right, Farid, uh, and also give us uh, an idea of what the situation is currently like on ground. We understand a lot of schools have been shut, roads have been blocked. Uh, what about the rescue teams? Are they on standby? Uh, uh, now, since yesterday, especially South Kashmir uh, areas were the first to uh, get inundated. Now, uh, we know uh, yesterday there were several areas that were cut off, uh, especially in Kulgam, uh, Shopian district. Now, uh, since yesterday, there's a flood alert in South Kashmir. Several areas uh, have been marooned. There are people who need immediate help. Uh, there need to be preemptive measures uh, as far as some other areas are concerned to bring out people before uh, these waters enter. Because, as I said, this is a very grim, precarious situation. You have more rain and suddenly you'll, you'll have a situation where there'll be a deluge. Uh, the, the embankments can cave in. Water can start coming uh, 
in, in, in a massive manner into the uh, civilian inhabitations. So this is a very grim situation. It requires emergency measures. Uh, there is a state uh, uh, disaster uh, management agency. But again, it is, uh, it, it, it is a very small agency. It does not have the required manpower machinery to deal with a massive magnitude flood. So it is a very tough situation. People will have to help themselves in this situation. They cannot rely on authorities who have shown that they have absolutely uh, no plan plan as far as dealing with such a situation is concerned. They, uh, in fact, were exposed in 2014. There was a hope that lessons may have been learned. But right now also it is the same situation. No one knows where that all, all that money has gone, uh, why uh, these flood channels were not uh, uh, basically uh, cleaned or uh, why, why the dredging did not happen at uh, the level it should have been. Uh, absolutely nothing has been done on the ground. And instead you have a, a situation in Jehlam and around where Illegal constructions were allowed. A big hotel was allowed, which obviously had uh, the backing of the PDP establishment. There were reports that some senior leaders are involved in that particular uh, illegality. So such uh, things did happen on the ground in Kashmir. And right. now people may have to pay the price for uh, this this kind of illegalities done by the government and right. uh, by the PDP BJP dispensation at that time. Farid, thank you so much for bringing us those updates. We'll keep coming back to you for more. Now, in the aftermath of heavy rains, a 24-year-old woman was killed in Kishtwar after a tree fell on her house. Her daughter has been left severely injured and the two lived in a temporary shelter in the area.